The following video is intended to be a guide for the installation of the Method CTI quantum cabling solution in association with the Brocade DCX and DCX4S chassis. Using the DCX FC864 high density blades that utilize the MSFP mini SFP provided by Brocade. This document specifically references the Hitachi Data System Solution Racks A3BF solution for EMEA and 7846450 for Americas. But the general instructions may be applied to any standard 19 inch rack assembly. The quantum cabling solution may also be used in conjunction with the Brocade DCX and DCX4S chassis that utilize the standard SFP sizes. The quantum cabling solution harnesses designed to facilitate connectivity to the standard SFP ports are referenced in the instruction document CTI-QCS-BR revision 002-12-20-10. Prior to beginning the installation, ensure that you have all of the components and tools necessary to complete the installation. The tools required are a Phillips head screwdriver, scissors to cut Velcro. Components required, adjustable mounting rail kit, part number QS0001000001. One each conversion patch panel, part number QS1000000000. The appropriate number of quantum cabling solution MTP coupler plates, part number QS01000000. One coupler plate per blade. The appropriate number of quantum cabling solution coupler plate blanks, part number QS. 0010000000. The appropriate number of harnesses to fully populate each director blade. And one roll of 3 8 inch Velcro for dressing and securing of the harnesses and trunks. Read the entire installation instruction guide and or review the entire installation instruction video prior to beginning installation of the quantum cabling solution. Following are the general installation instructions related to the installation of the Brocade DCX chassis. The DCX chassis or the DCX4S chassis should be installed in the HDS 7846450 rack system or the A3BF solution for EMEA per the Hitachi data system standard practice. Ensure that a minimum of three rack space units are left open immediately below the chassis for the installation of the quantum cabling solutions conversion patch panel. Installation of the quantum cabling solution conversion patch panel. Step one, install the QCS adjustable mounting rail approximately two RU below the bottom of the brocade DCX chassis utilizing the mounting hardware provided with the mounting rail kit. Step two, install the quantum cabling solution conversion patch panel on the adjustable mounting rail kit with the front of the QCS patch panel oriented with the front of the DCX chassis and secure the panel to the front vertical rack rails only utilizing the mounting hardware provided with the patch panel. Note, prior to installing the QCS patch panel, it may be desirable to pre-install the appropriate number of QCS MTP coupler plates and or QCS coupler plate blanks in the rear of the patch panel. If you did not install the coupler plates and or blanks in step two, do so now. Note, when facing the rear of the QCS patch panel, the cabling channel on the far right side of the patch panel and the associated MTP coupler plate coincide with the number one blade position on a DCX chassis with vertical blades, which is the blade on the left side of the chassis when facing the front of the DCX chassis and port 00 is the port on the lower left corner. When utilizing the QCS patch panel with the DCX 4S chassis, the blades are horizontally mounted and the number one blade is the bottom blade and port 00 is the port on the lower right corner. 
when facing the rear of the QCS patch panel, the cabling channel on the far left side of the patch panel, and the associated coupler plate coincide with the number one blade. Installation of the cabling solution harnesses for the DCX chassis. Note, the quantum cabling solution harness kits are eight channel MTP to MSFP LC harnesses. The harness kit part numbers and lengths are specific to the type of blade, chassis, and the eight port grouping position on the blade that will be utilized. The harnesses are also numbered 128 on the LC connector boot to coincide with the fan out leg stagger length. When used in association with the DCX chassis, four harnesses part numbers are required to populate one side of the DCX FC864 high density blade. The same four part numbers are required to populate the other side of the DCX FC864 high density blade. Therefore, to fully populate a DCX FC864 high density blade, two each of the four harness part numbers are required. Step one, select the appropriate harness part number for the eight port grouping position to be cabled on the DCX FC864 blade. Step two, Remove the dust caps from the MSFP LC Pro Slide connectors and plug the connectors into the appropriate MSFP blade ports on the DCX FC864 high density blade, starting with the connector labeled 1 and proceed upward with the connector labeled 2, 3, 4, etc. Step 3 Pass the MTP connector end of the harness through the appropriate front to rear cable channel in the QCS panel and plug the MTP connector into the appropriate coupler on the rear of the coupler plate. Note, harness one for group one on the FC864 blade connects with the MTP coupler one on the coupler plate. Tip, while not required for the installation, you may facilitate passing the MTP end of the harness through the cable channel in the QCS patch panel by utilizing the QCS harness installation tool. This is a telescoping tool that allows you to connect the MTP connector to the tool on the front of the patch panel and easily pull the harness through the rear of the panel. Contact your local Method CTI representative or consult the Method CTI website to secure this tool. Note, for the best cable dress results, start with the shortest harness and work up one side of the blade installing each successive longer harness. Repeat this process for the other side of the associated blade. As each blade is completely cabled up, utilize the Velcro straps provided to secure the harnesses to the front of the QCS patch panel. Additionally, you may neatly dress each of the harnesses and organize them with small Velcro strips as indicated in the installation instruction illustrations 13 and 14. A finished DCX chassis should look much like figure 18 in the instruction guide. Installation instructions specific to the brocade DCX 4S chassis. Note, steps 1 and 2 are the same for the DCX and the DCX 4S chassis. Installation of the quantum cabling solution MTP MSFP LC Pro Slide harnesses for DCX 4S chassis. Step one, select the appropriate harness part number for the eight port grouping position to be cabled on the DCX FC864 blade. The same complement of harnesses would be required to populate each successive 64 port blade. Step two, beginning with the bottom right port in the bottom DCX FC864 high density blade, install the harness designated as HFRH 4553044 FSP. Plug in the eight MSFP LC Pro Slide connectors in sequence and then route the MTP tail out of the harness to the right and dress and secure in the harness management bar, part number QS 00000100, and then to the rack rail on the HDS 78464500 rack utilizing the Velcro cable strain relief loops provided. Step three, pass the MTP connector end of the harness through the appropriate front to rear cable channel in the quantum conversion patch panel. 
to extend out the back of the patch panel where it will plug into the MTP coupler plate. The MTP coupler plates are numbered to correspond with the port grouping in the DCX FC864 high density blade. For the DCX4S chassis, the blade channel on the far right is designated for the bottom blade. The next blade channel to the left in the quantum conversion patch panel is designated for the second blade from the bottom. The third blade channel from the right is for the third blade from the bottom and the fourth blade channel is for the top blade in the DCX 4S chassis. Once the coupler plate is filled with harness MTP connectors, snap into place on the quantum conversion patch panel.